Hi, and welcome to a new tutorial in SOLIDWORKS uh, That's the tutorial number 9, I think uh, To make V12 engine in SOLIDWORKS This part is the cylinder block Like I said, uh, you like um, last time Let's make the, the oil pump location here Let's start from this side. See, uh, let's. See. You can see here, like your reference. Okay. Don't from this side. Put the cylinder block like this. Then select this. Um, select this side. Okay. Then. Uh, normal then start from center rectangle we have 14 here 13 here the distance from here 46 and from the bottom we have 14 then then you can use sketch fillet with 5 mm here and here then 1 mm here and here no I have to validate Then five millimeter here. Okay. Then extruded with thirteen. Switch the direction. Click OK. Now the same thing in the same location. You can use a circle. Um, diameter of 11.5 to put it in the center you have to see this then you can use feature extruded cut and put 13 or 14 Now we can hide this, then add the sketch here, no, I have to put 10 millimeter. having to hide this, because I have to add the relation between these. And the distance from here, 14. I have to put 12 here. Make sure it's not, it's not uh, crossed this uh, area. Because the oil enter from here and filter in the in this side then enter in the cylinder block now you can select uh, this one to put a hole not selected I will add a hole here okay 
position select this then click and drag this mm, five millimeter then the distance from here we have 20 the same thing we have 24 I will add the point here from here we have 28 and from here from we have 8 then on the center line select all of these and this center line make it mirror and click OK save your file then start from this side you can see that to see the, re the reference ok then make it wireframe and start from here at this dimension Then go to feature, extrude feature. We have five of the offset. Then here we have 595. And switch the direction here. Click OK. Then you have select this one. I go to wireframe, go to line, start from the center of this, and go to this one. Validate. Then you have to select this face. Then start from circle from this one put here from here we have five diameter is five then you can add a point here to add the relation between these then add the circle where is the circle it's here the distance between these we have 10 millimeter and make it equals then a relation between these then make your repetition with 90 in the other side repeat it okay yes I know then add the circle here last one here here okay mm, diameter is the same we have five the distance the distance from the exterior we have seven point to five and other relation between this and this point make it vertical then go to shed mode and feature extrude feature you can click here and choose your direction now you can see from this side okay extruded you can put here 100 20 I click OK if you want okay now the last thing to do is select this and add circles 
from here you can see like wireframe 3 millimeter then we have 5 here then it can put 2.5 okay the same thing here then add the relation between this and this one we have 2.5 And add the relation between this and this one, then it will be black. Black. It will be black. Okay. Then you can repeat that with ninety degree degrees, and put here ninety millimeter, and repeat that. Repeat that. Okay. That's okay. And the last one is here. I think it's here. Three millimeter. And let's see where is it. We have to put here two point five and other relation between these. Okay. Then you can just go to feature, extrude feature, and you can put here one hundred if you want okay we can verify this with this one let's start from here you can see here the oil enter and go mm, to this side and you can add uh, if you want add the oil here to to go to the what's the name is a cylinder head okay uh, let's uh, leave the the what we have many feature to make last uh, next day then uh, see you in this tutorial if you like you can just leave me a comment and if you have any question, don't uh, hesitate to post it. Thank you for watching and see you next tutorial.